This is DuPage Now for Thursday, May 8, 2008. Officials from Glenbard West High School in Glen Ellen will step up safety precautions on Friday after administrators on Thursday found graffiti threatening violence at the school. Entry and exit from the building will be restricted to two doors, and anyone arriving at the building after 7.35 a.m. will have to go through the main entrance. In other news, the sister of Kathleen Savio, Drew Peterson's third wife, is testifying Thursday afternoon in front of the grand jury investigating the disappearance of Bolingbroke resident Stacy Peterson and the March 2004 drowning of Savio. Susan Doman is the first of Savio's family to testify before the grand jury. She showed up at the Will County Court Annex building in Joliet Thursday morning with her daughter. In St. Charles, police arrested five men, including ones from Downers Grove, Hinsdale, and Warrenville, who allegedly arranged to meet an undercover female police officer for sex on Tuesday and Wednesday. The men, ranging in age from 35 to 57, were each charged with one count of soliciting a sexual act when they responded to a phony ad on Craigslist and arranged to meet the officer at various locations in St. Charles. Lanny D. Forrester, 57, of Downers Grove, Philip L. Haltom, 52, of Hinsdale, and Damon R. Thacker, 37, of Warrenville, all turned themselves in to police. In Lombard, a trial is underway in DuPage County Circuit Court for a man accused of shooting at three Lombard police officers after he stole a bottle of vodka from a Jewel Osco store in 2004. Paul Grigo, 59, opened fire on the three officers with a 38 caliber handgun on September 2, 2004, when they came to his apartment to investigate the theft. Lombard police officer Jerry O'Meara was shot in the shoulder, ending his 13-year career. And now for your two to know. The Bloomingdale Senior Citizens Advisory Council, in cooperation with the Bloomingdale Police Department, will host a senior day fair from 9 a.m. to noon Friday at the Medina Shriners Banquet Facility in Addison. The free event will provide senior citizens an opportunity to observe some of the newest resources available to them from dozens of area businesses and individuals. Also, beginning in June, DuPage County residents can drop off unwanted paint and pick up recycled paint Monday through Friday at the Woodridge Wastewater Treatment Facility. That was DuPage Now, and we'll see you on Friday. <laughs>